Hi and welcome to our webinar on being a sports student. Um, my name is Marcus and I work for the student recruitment team and today we have um, Hattie and I'm on physical education with QTS. Uh, Lucy and I'm on physical education in the secondary years. Um, and I'm Kyle and I'm on outdoor and adventure education. Cool. So first of all, research in university. So if I start with Hattie, um, what steps did you take before joining university? Um, so I actually worked in a primary school before I came to uni. So I knew like quite a lot of teachers who had studied and the University of Chichester was recommended to me. And so it was places like Brighton and Plymouth that like do my course. So I just researched them all online. Um, watched some of the YouTube videos and then looked on to like open days and stuff. Cool. And Lucy? Um, so I did kind of a blanket search for PE to start with just to see what was out there. And then my PE teacher actually recommended University of Chichester because she studied there herself. And I looked into it more and it was the best one that suited me. So that's why I went for it. Cool. And how about you, Carl? Um, similar to Lucy, my um, college teacher also came to Church to Uni to study um, and he recommended it. So I thought I'd check it out and loved it. Cool. Um, and I'll go back to you, Carl, for this one. How did you feel about going to university? Um, I felt pretty nervous at first, um, but I'd say I was also quite excited as well to get my own independence finally. Cool. Uh, Lucy? Yeah, I was really excited, nervous as well, because we were the COVID years at A-levels, so we didn't really have much time in school, but just more excited than anything, so it's the next step in life, really. And Hattie, were you similar? Um, yeah, really similar. Like, obviously, you're going to be nervous because it's the next step in your life, but excited at the same time. Um, and Hattie, what were your, what's your top tip when deciding on universities? Um, I would say just really research into the uni because obviously different places do things differently um, and like Chichester's like for my course is like really practical and like you do lots of sport when you're here and like that really suited me so obviously I'd say just pick like your top things that you want the uni to have and then research into all of them. And Lucy what would your top tip be? Like Hattie said, research, do your research, see what kind of modules you're going to be covering across the three years, four years if you're doing four year course, but also go and visit the um, uni and the city and get a good feel for what it would be like to live there rather than just making a rush decision of what the course says. Yeah. And Carl, how about you? I'd say definitely make like a pros and cons list of each university that you're looking at. Um, and then from there decide on the pros of modules, maybe the city, the accommodation, course and then from there work out which one's best for you. Cool so um, our top tips before starting university or uh, deciding that you're going to university is to try and visit the university whenever you can so you can go to things like open days, um, campus tours which some unis may run, uh, some universities also run things like taster sessions and master classes so that's good for getting sort of the experience of what university will be like. Um, another big tip is to test run the journey from university to home, um, especially if you're commuting, but also to make sure that that journey is going to be doable um, when you want to go home and things like reading week and Christmas and Easter, that sort of thing. Um, another big one is to visit the local area, so see what things there are around the city or the town, um, things like places to go, things that you can do in your spare time. Um, at the end of the day, it's the area that you're going to be living in for the next three years or so, so you want it to be somewhere where you'll enjoy basically. Um, and probably the biggest one is ask questions. So when you go on these open days, applicant days or campus tours, make sure to ask as many questions as you can. So um, if I go to Lucy first for this one, uh, what was your first week at university like? So obviously Freshers Week is hectic in itself, but it was just getting straight into it. So our course put on, on things every day. 
so we had activities to do like team building or something and then you've got the things in the evening um so it was hectic but it was a good way to start because you're not really having time to think about that you're away from home you're just straight into the action and yeah it got me straight in and I didn't feel homesick at that point so yeah it was really right. good. uh Kyle how about you um my yeah uh very similar to what Lucy said my course uh our induction week and freshers week um we put on a lot of activities we had rock climbing orienteering we had loads of stuff going on um and it was good to sort of take your mind off of uh, sort of homesickness and sort of being away from home for that first time um, but it was definitely very exciting yeah uh, and Hattie how about you um literally the same you do so many activities and you feel like you make friends and settle in really really quickly because there is something to do nearly every day so I feel like you really settle in and how did you find settling into that student life I actually feel like I adapted really quickly like you do worry about making friends but because of social media you've spoke to a lot of people that already go here already and then when you get here you're just like putting the name to the face and like the first person who I talked to when I got here is still like my best friend now so like you do click with people really quickly so it, it is really nice you do settle in well that's great um and Kyle how did you find settling into student life um I found it fairly difficult at first um I definitely say the sort of independence of it um was a little bit hard at first but then you kind of get used to it you you make friends with your flatmates really really quickly um I'm still close close friends with my flatmates now and you make again close friends with your course mates um and the first person I spoke to on the course I'm really close friends with now cool and Lucy how about you yeah it was as he said you get um to talk to people on social media before you get there so I knew everyone in my block on social media before i would moved into my accommodation so that was really nice to just have conversations with them like I'd known them already and yeah I feel like I settled in quite well because I enjoy having independence anyway so it was just allowing me to have that independence. Cool um, and this is actually a good uh, point to talk about social media so we are starting um, a new app called Campus Connect um, and essentially if you're an offer holder um, the university will um, send you a request essentially to join this app where you can talk to people in your accommodation on your course uh, with similar interests so clubs and societies that sort of thing and then you can also talk to current students like the ambassadors that we have here um, who will just let you know what sort of a student life is like um, so in terms of uh, now at uni uh, Kyle what does a typical week look like for you um, it can change. Um, so at the moment I'm in four days a week. Um, I'm doing practicals once a week, uh, which are at the moment including um, practicals on how to teach and sort of coaching at adventure sports. Um, I'm in lectures three times a week. I've got seminars twice a week and like I said I've got practical. Cool. Uh, and Lucy, how about you? Um, so as Carl said, it does change. So at the moment I'm in like four to five times a week because sometimes we have lectures one week and not the next. And um, it's a good mixture between practicals and lectures at the moment. So we're doing practicals on Hamble and then one of my modules is Outdoor Ed. So I've got practicals for that as well. And then a lecture is going alongside that and for other modules as well. Perfect. Uh, and how about you, Hattie? Um, well, my week's not very busy at the minute because I go out on placement soon. So I'm currently only in two days a week. And then on Wednesdays, I play for my sport team. Other than that, nothing at the minute because I'll be doing five days a week when I go on placement in May. So. Cool. So uh, biggest concerns before coming to university. Um, if I start with Lucy on this one, what was your biggest concerns? I think... It was just um, making sure I've made the right decision with uni and the course and things. That's your biggest concern because you're kind of going into the unknown. Um, but yeah, I was happy with my decision, but that was a concern definitely before I went to uni. Cool. Uh, and Hattie, how about you? I think for me, I done an apprenticeship before coming to uni rather than A-levels. So I was really worried about like the jumping work. Like obviously I wasn't doing a lot of work really because I was doing a lot of practical being in school so I was just worried about the jump to 
level four but you get so much support here that I was probably just worrying about nothing. <laughs> it's great um, and Carl how about you? Um, I definitely say it's probably meeting new people um, when you when you get to your, your accommodation halls you're very much thrown into a corridor of people you have no idea who they are um, so I'd say it's meeting new people. And how did you find that in terms of talking to flatmates and that sort of thing? Um, I found it all right. Um, a lot of the people who were in my flat last year, we had uh, a lot of common interests. So we kind of just worked on those common interests. We went out and got to know each other. Um, and then over the time, it's just sort of bloomed into a really good friendship that I'm friends with them now. Amazing. So um, that links in nicely to moving away from home and making friends. So Hattie, how did you feel about moving away from home? Um, nervous. I'm really, really close with all of my family. So I felt like I would be really homesick. I mean, you can't say that you won't be homesick because you will but it's really not as bad as you would think like your friends almost are like your family when you get here and you're with them a lot and you support each other so I, initially I was obviously nervous about it but once you're settled in you feel like this is your home now so I thought it was okay. That's great um, and Lucy how about you? Yeah as Hattie said you, you're going to feel nervous because it's probably your first time living away from home and like if you're a couple of hours away it's not easy to get back but um yeah I was nervous but it soon went away when I moved in and got used to being on my own and stuff and yeah it was good yeah definitely um and Kyle um I'd have to agree with what Hattie says everyone does get homesick at some point um but that is only natural um but I was definitely excited um I was ready for a new change and I was ready for my own sort of place to live um but I was very nervous as well. Um, and I, all three of you did live in student accommodation in first years. Um, Lucy, how did you find your accommodation? What was it like? Well, I loved my accommodation last year. If I could still live there now, I would. Um, it's just really nice being in like your own room. And I was in an ensuite, self-catered. So I had a lot of that independence of my own bathroom and cooking and things. So yeah, I loved my student accommodation experience. Um, Hattie, what about you? Me and Lucy were at the same place, I think, at Stockbridge. So it's the same. I had my ensuite, my own room, and you make it your own when you when you bring all of your stuff up here and you make it nice and homely. So yeah, I like to live in accommodation. Cool. Um, and Kyle, how about you? Um, I was also in Stockbridge last year, um, and I loved it. Like I said. Um, I wish I could go back and live there again because it was actually quite nice. Perfect. Um, so if I start with Carl on this one, how did you feel about making new friends and meeting new people? Yeah, um, at first I was very nervous about it. Um, but once you sort of get to know people and you sort of find a sort of common ground to talk about, then uh, it becomes quite easy after then. And then you sort of just talk to them more, you meet up with them more, and then it just get easier and easier from there. Yeah. Um, Hattie, were you similar? Yeah, I think I am quite a confident person when it comes to meeting people. So I just, my best advice is just try and talk to literally everybody. I mean, it's quite a small uni anyway, so you can make lots and lots of friends. I was nervous about it a little bit, but you feel like once you're here, you've known them for ages and you've only known them for a few days. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and Lucy, anything else to add? Yeah, mine is just all the same. And you just have to remember that coming to uni in first year, most people are in the same boat. They've never done that before. And everyone's there to make friends. So talk to whoever you can and friendships will blossom from yeah, any conversations. Yeah. Um, so a big part about making new friends at university um, and a good way to do it is to join any clubs or societies that are on offer at the uni. Um, so Hattie, you mentioned earlier that you're in a club. Um, yeah. Do you mind just talking a little bit about that and what it was like? Yeah, so I play for the hockey team. Um, 
in your first week you will go to Freshers' Fair and all of the sports teams will be set up in the tent on the field and you can sign up to as many as you want or to the sport that you play and then you go along to a taster session and then you do some trials to see if you get into the team. Um, it is really good because you have like your friends that are in your year and on your course but then you also have friends that are in first year and third year and even fourth year sometimes and you um, really bond with them and it's just people to talk to away from like people that you're surrounded with all the time I really like going away on Wednesdays to play sport because it's like it feels like you're going out of Chichester and you're going to other unis and meeting new people so I think joining the society is like a really good thing to do. Yeah definitely. Um, Carl are you in any clubs or societies? Um, I am part of the Adventure Sports Society um, so we do a lot of uh, rock climbing um, especially during the sort of colder months um, and I'm also part of the American football team as well, um, which is definitely interesting to give a try. It's not something that is sort of as big in the UK as obviously is out in America, um, but it's definitely something worth giving a go because it is good fun. Did you have any experience of playing American football before university? Not at all. Um, I had a little bit of experience playing rugby, but once you start to play American football, you realize how drastically different those two sports actually are. Perfect. Um, and Lucy, are you part of any clubs or societies? I'm not. I did try out for cheerleading in Freshers' Week, but it just wasn't for me. But I do see the benefits of being part of a society. I know everyone that I know that are part of a society, they just love it. Yeah, exactly. Um, so in terms of coping with exams and essays, um, if I start with Lucy, um, what type of assessments do you have in your subject? So first year was the only time that we had like a sit down exam. The rest have been um, essays. Um, so, yeah, it's mostly just essay based, based subjects, really. Cool. Um, and Carl, how about you? Um, we have quite a mix. So we have um, essay based um, sort of assessments. We have um, like written, down, written sit down exam assessments. We have presentations, projects um, and practicals as well. Perfect. And Hattie, is that similar for you? Yeah, yeah. So we had, same as Lucy, I had one sit down e exam and then we've had a presentation. We've had 10 minute coaching um, assessment that we had to do. So a bit of a mix as well. And how did you prepare for those assessments? I My method is just paper and pen and just write it all of my thoughts down on it and then just keep reading it over and over that's just what I find helps me and it sticks in my brain obviously reading lists that you get given here as well um but yeah method is to just write it all down on a big bit of paper and Lucy is that similar for you or do you have any other sort of ways yeah. I just get up a word document and I bullet point down everything that I want to get into that assessment and then you start to build your assessment around. Um, Carl, do you want to take over there? I think the Wi-Fi is yeah. Um I yeah, like to sort of make my notes um, on like a word document and then sort of write, like write them down on, on paper afterwards. Um, I find actually sitting down and writing them down helps me sort of get them into my thoughts a bit more. Um, and then obviously just turning up for lessons and so you, you get that content in your head and you can actually write that content down. Cool. Um, and Carl, how many or how often do you have those assessments? Um, we often have two assessments per module um, that could sort of differ between like one essay and one presentation or one exam and one presentation or um, sort of thing. We normally only have two, uh, which is set at the start of the uh, module normally due at the end of the module. Yeah uh, and Lucy is that similar for you? Uh, I'd say mine is about one mostly one essay module maybe two maybe three they might be one bigger couple small ones um, but I'd say probably about two average two a module. Cool um, and Hattie how about you? Yeah, probably the same. Like modules can be broken down into different like percentages. So you might have like one 500 word that's worth like 10 percent and then a 30 percent and then like they can break it down. But I wouldn't say you're doing more than like 
writing two assignments at once would you say like you never have like five assignments to write at the same time like it is always put on a good timeline so you can focus on on what you've got to do yeah and am I right in saying that you're usually given um the assessment right at the start of the semester so that you have plenty of time to plan for it as well yeah yeah cool so um, at this university we have a lot of support on offer so we've got things like academic skills, uh, disability and dyslexia service, um, mental health, counselling, student money, student wellbeing, um, all of these support you can book through SIS or um, you can email the relevant person at the university and they'll direct you in the right way. So, um, Lucy, what would you say to someone considering a sports course? If you love sport and it's something you want to carry on in the future, do it. Because even if you just like the participation in sport, um, me being on a PE course, you do still have that practical side. So you're always being active. And if it's something that you really care about and want to take into the future, I'd say just do it. Take the leap. That's great. Um, and Carl, how about you? I'd say if sport is your thing, definitely go for it. Um, no matter what sport course you do, there are plenty of opportunities that you'll be able to get external qualifications. Um, and your lecturers, they know what they're doing. Um, they are really good for giving opportunities for after university. Um, and it is just so much fun. Your lessons are, are practical, um, which is better than sitting in a classroom five days a week. Yeah. Um, and Hattie, how about you? I would say the same. I think being on a sport course, it leads to so many more opportunities than you would think, like organisation, communication, like things like I know that my lecturer said that you're going to be a police officer and like things that you wouldn't even think linked to your course, but they do. Um, I think people underestimate like sport courses like, oh, you're going to need to do sport, but you do learn so, so many life skills that you can use outside of just like playing football and netball and things like that. So I think go for it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, and finally, uh, in a few words, uh, Lucy, how would you sum up your time at university so far? University is like everything I've ever wanted from it and more because um, you've obviously you're getting your qualification and you're going to the next step in life but you're also meeting new people you're having new experiences and just getting to experience yeah experience life by yourself so yeah really good cool. and Hattie how about you probably the same like you're nervous before you start but you come here and it is everything that you think like it's it's great like it's everything you want and more and I think you're getting so much more than just a degree you're getting like lifelong friendships and you're learning so many new skills and still playing sport and yeah I think it's great. <laughs> um, and finally Carl how about you yeah um it's been brilliant um it's, it's all that I could have asked for like I said you're not just getting a degree you're getting life skills that are massively beneficial um, and learning sort of so important things towards your future career. Um, it, it's amazing. Cool. Um, well, that is the end of the webinar. Um, if anyone has any questions, then they can reach us at outreach at chai.ac.uk or study here at chai.ac.uk. Um, so thank you.